one more, one more verse. We're gonna roll the union on. One more, one more. We're gonna roll. We're gonna roll. We're gonna roll. Hearing that song of the 30s, of the Flint sit-down strike, of labor, the CIO, seated next to Michael Moore. Now, many of you know who Michael Moore is. And Michael Moore's new book is called Downsize This, Down Random Threats for an Unarmed American. And so just in hearing this passage from this old labor song of the 30s, what thought comes to your mind immediately? I think of my Uncle Laverne, actually, who, um, who was in that sit-down strike. Um, 60 years ago this winter, studs. And I think about, um, you know, all, how, how all of us gained from that and all other labor actions that came after that, how the, how the, the standard of living, how our, our health care, um, social security, uh, child labor, all these things came as a result of the struggle that those people participated in. And if they could see what's going on now... <laughs> We come to the big subject we hear the phrase today. Since the evil empire is gone, they have a new enemy called terrorists. And so you have a picture at the beginning of this book, Downsize This, two photographs. What is terrorism? And it's almost, the two photographs are almost identical. Destroyed buildings. The first one's Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, 1995, after the bombing. Down below, Flint, Michigan, 1996. And you can hardly tell the difference the two pieces of destruction. So the question is, what is terrorism? Well, obviously, if you park a rider truck in front of a building filled with explosives and blow up that building and kill 168 people, that's an act of terrorism. There's no, no question about that. But what do you call it, Studs, when you politely remove the people from the building first and then blow it up? But in the ensuing years, the people that used to work in that building, because their livelihood has been stripped from them, the people that used to work there, a number of them will die. They'll die from suicide. They'll die from spousal abuse. They'll die from drugs and alcoholism. All the social problems that, that surround people when they become unemployed. Those people are just as dead as the people in Oklahoma City. But we don't call the actions of the company terrorism, do we? We don't call the company a murderer. But, those, but, the, but I do consider this an act of economic terrorism when at a time you're making a record profit, you would throw people out of work just so you can make a little bit more. 